Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like time is moving so fast. I feel like I just decorated my home for fall. And now already, it's time to decorate for winter. I don't know about you guys, but I like to hunker down during the winter time to stay nice and warm. So why not create a space that's cozy and comfortable? Come with me on this sleigh ride to clean my home and also decorate it. So without further ado, let's get creative. Hey guys, I'm Creative Gem, back with another video, and today I am decorating my living room and dining room once again. I can't believe like fall is over. It's over already, and we're already into like the Christmas time, holiday, winter time. So um, if you guys haven't seen it already, I did do a decorating with me fall decor haul. I also did a like house tour decorating cleaning. And this one's pretty much gonna be similar to that. I'm going to clean the house. This one's gonna be kind of more quick. I'm not gonna be as thorough, just quick vacuum and all that jazz. And then I'm gonna start decorating. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. So this is my shoe area over here living room with my couches basically what i'm probably going to be doing is changing the cushion covers changing this area out not doing a whole lot just adding a little bit of razzle dazzle a little bit of sparkle this area too going to add some different pillows maybe a different basket not quite sure what i have honestly i'm trying to remember what i did last year I decorated last year. I didn't have like too much going on. I did know I did stick with like the silver, black, beige, kind of very similar um, color scheme. But I'm definitely taking down the pumpkins. I probably will keep this up there. The wooden ac accents. Gonna take that down. A few things I'll, I'll keep, but. And then I will put a different rug here. I think I'll put a gray one here, same type of fur. And then I'll put a white one here. And then I'll put a little Christmas tree in the corner. Moving on to the dining room. Gotta keep it pretty simple as well. I have the pumpkins. Guys, I love these pumpkins so much. They are from Sam's Club and they are so pretty. So, so pretty. I love these from Sam's Club. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. All right, so now you've got a quick tour of both rooms. And now it's time to say goodbye officially to all the fall decor. I am taking the pillowcases off. I'm literally putting everything away in storage and then I'm gonna start cleaning. When it comes to putting my decor away, I try to keep it all in one place if I can, like in one box or one container, because as an interior designer and decorator, I have a lot of stuff, as you can imagine. So it really helps me to try to keep it in one place, because if I have it spread out over here and over there and this box and that box, it's really hard for me to keep up with it. <laughs> but now I am cleaning my space. I am wiping off the tables. With this all-purpose cleaner I got from the dollar store is Peppermint and Sage. I really like this cleaner because it gives a slight sheen to my furniture. And it is, you can pretty much use it on anything. And also, if you guys enjoy my cleaning videos or if you enjoy seeing me clean, I've been trying to incorporate other steps to my process. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy seeing me clean or if you just want me to just do a cleaning video or an ASMR video. Let me know in the comments below and I might just do it. Now 
Now, I might be late to this hyperlapse party, but I love hyperlapse. I love time lapse. It is so easy to just film a lot of content of me doing stuff, and it doesn't take as much space on my phone when I'm filming. And yeah, I can film a lot, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You know what's crazy when you use that setting is that you think you filmed a lot, and then you look back and you only film like two seconds. So that's probably why you're seeing a lot of very short clips is because I thought I filmed like a really long video and it turns out it was only like four seconds long. <laughs> but that is the advantage of using that. The video editor that I'm using now is Wondershare Filmora. I love it, it's super easy to use. And mind you, I'm still kind of new to the video editing game, but I love, 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 love speed ramping, which is what I'm using right now. And I'm trying to add a little bit of more character to my videos by using that. All right, so the room is nice and tidy. I cleaned the floors, vacuumed the rug, vacuumed the sofas, and everything's looking nice and clean, dust free. And the room looks so much bigger, and <laughs> you can also hear like more of an echo, but the room looks so much bigger when everything's taken out, doesn't it? Like it looks huge. I love having a clean, clear space to work with. So now it's time to decorate. Let me show you some of the decor I have, and let's get started. Every year I like to decorate with these throw rugs. They're from Ikea and I got the blue, gray, and white. And the other one is from Primark. I like to use them on the table and also the floor. So this DIY you can do yourself. Just get a nice big clear bucket or even a big vase. Fill it with pine cones. I got mine from Five Below. Also, I put some lights in there, that's from Ikea, and then also some Christmas balls, that's from Ikea too. I kinda mixed it around in the bowl or in the bucket, and there you go, I have an illuminating globe. I'm kinda basic, kinda plain when it comes to wreaths. So the one to the far left I found at the Dollar Tree. This one I already had on hand, and this one I got from Five Below. I simply just put these little lights on it that Five Below also had. But yeah, I'm pretty simple with my wreaths, just a few balls, tinsel, or even plain, and I'm pretty much good to go. So the middle wreath is probably gonna go on my front door. This one is going to go on a table, and I'm gonna put my little Christmas tree um, inside of it and then this other one is probably gonna go near my television or basically around that little tiny seating area that I showed earlier. Before we get any further, I just wanna give a disclaimer. A lot of the decor that I have, I am recycling it. So I have used it last year and the year before that. I haven't really gotten any new stuff, maybe a couple things, but not much. So some of it you can get in the store, some of it you can't. Like for example, the stockings are from Five Below. The branches were at Primark, I don't know if they still are. But I'll let you guys know, if I create a, like, a link or I have a link for you guys to get the products, I'll leave it in the description box below. But you guys can just watch the video, see how I decorate, and then do your own twist with decor that you can get on your own. The ottomans are from Five Below, the pillow is from Ross, the pillowcase right here is from Ikea, and last but not least, this cute little pillow that says Joy in Peace, that is from Five Below as well. So my boyfriend was helping me decorate and he's like, yo, that looks like it says LOL. And then I looked at it and I said, oh my gosh, it does look like that. And I was cracking up. <laughs> but any Whoville, <laughs> here are some vases that I had on hand and I love putting lights inside them and it's almost like a glowing snow globe. So what I did here, I took the branches, I took some balls and I put some lights in them and there you go.
As you can see, I even decorated my TV stand area. So I took an icicle garland and also a table runner that I got from Five Below. I put it underneath and I wanted to just add a bit more sparkle to the space. This alcove is in older townhouses, especially in my area, and it has a mirror behind it. So I love to decorate these. And also when there's light in this area, it kind of illuminates the area. So I like to take these decorative trees that I got from Five Below and this Star Wars sign that I got from Marshalls. I'm kind of doing like a Star Wars theme. So I even took like the sparkly guest dress and I just kind of arranged it this way. And then I put my already RT, RT, I can't even say it. R2D2 um, <laughs> coin holder and I put it in the middle and then on the bottom I put some books and some picture frames and a couple other things. By the way, this is one of my favorite books. It's the Interior Designer Handbook. Pick it up at your local bookstore or even on Amazon. It's great for interior designers and architects. Picture frame and picture inside is from the Dollar Tree and the other frames I also had on hand. That little golden leaf is from the Target Dollar Spot and this little chestnut or acorn is from the Dollar Tree. All of my pillowcases are from Ikea. The one in front was from a special collection. It says, be who you are. The other one is the Venter collection. I featured that in my fall haul. And then the other ones are also um, ones that they feature during the winter time as well. And then there's another rug. But yeah, that's my sofa area. I love Ikea cushion covers because I can just change it out whenever I feel like it. So this cozy cabin has a tiny little tree this year, y'all. Don't come after me for my busted star. I know it's whack, but yeah, this is what I got to work with today. It is what it is. Anyway, y'all ready to see my space? All right, here's the grand reveal. After all that decorating, it's time to sit down, relax, and enjoy this vibe. child mm, this is a whole vibe ain't it who who would want to go outside i wouldn't I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for cleaning with me and decorating with me for the winter slash holidays. If you enjoy seeing content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification on the bottom to be notified when new content like this comes out. All right, have a great holiday guys and stay safe.